Well, this time last week, I was on the University of Houston campus getting all excited about the Sweet 16 matchup, a possible berth in the Final Four down the road for the Cougars. Well, that didn't work out, and here's why. You see that U up there? That's Miami, and yes, they did defeat the Cougars last week, and they advanced to the Final Four by beating my Texas Longhorns. They are among an unlikely mix for the Final Four this year, but it should be a group that will provide a lot of fun out on the basketball courts. Also among the Final Four is UConn, no stranger to this big stage. In fact, the University of Connecticut Huskies have won four national championships, most recently in 2014. Now, the other three teams, Miami, San Diego State, and Florida Atlantic, they're making their final four debuts. How well the fan bases for these teams travel is yet to be seen, but judging by the plummeting ticket prices on third-party websites, the attendance won't be nearly as high as if a Texas team had made the final four. Still, the stadium is set to host more than 70,000 fans, and it'll likely be very full. With that in mind, the local Office of Emergency Management has activated the Emergency Operations Center and the Joint Information Center. It's a coordinated effort among law enforcement agencies in hopes of keeping everyone safe. And we want to put a good foot forward, too, with fans coming in from both coasts and around the country. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo asks for everyone's patience with the Final Four, its concerts and fan fests, and Astros opening weekend all happening at once. We expect it's going to be a fabulous weekend, a fabulous few days, and part of it also depends on folks who are attending um, asking for patience. There's going to be more traffic. All of this is coming together at the same time, and some roads are going to be closed around NRG. Well, Kara is in again for Kara again. How's that for a mouthful? Uh, she'll let us know if there's any traffic issues popping up because of the Final Four here in and around NRG, also downtown where that Fan Fest is going on over at Minute Maid as well. Lots going on this weekend. Sharon, Anita, Lena. In fact, boy, so many events tied to the Final Four, not necessarily inside the stadium, but around it and also downtown.